Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier. The Premier's office stopped independent journalists from showing footage in the Premier's, that the Premier's office agreed to shoot. We hear this is because that footage might have shed some light into the Sudbury bribery scandal. Now, someone in the Premier's office... The Please finish. Thank you very much. Someone in the Premier's Member office from Lanark, second is time. keeping that footage secret. Maybe it's a Premier. Maybe it's Pat Sobera. Who in the Premier's office is keeping the documentary from seeing the light of the day? Thank you. Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, as I've said, uh, as I've said in this House, we worked closely with the uh, producer to determine the parameters of the film, Mr. Speaker. I haven't seen any of the footage, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I still, uh, I still hope that uh, that the uh, documentary can be played because, Mr. Speaker, in the first instance, it was uh, a, about putting in place a documentary that would, would replace or would augment uh, a much earlier documentary that was made during the uh, the Davis era, Mr. Speaker, about how government works. That was the point of the documentary. That's why I agreed to it, Mr. Speaker. I haven't seen any of the footage, and uh, I, uh, I hope that it can go forward as an educational tool, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, the Premier welcome, did indeed welcome cameras into the back rooms, but then something was caught on film. And the Premier's office went into lockdown. We've heard that maybe this has something to do with the Sudbury bribery scandal. We want to know, but more importantly, the people of Ontario want to know. What was caught on tape that spooked the Premier's office so much that they're keeping the... Please finish. So what was caught on tape that spooked the Premier's Minister office Trans so much that they're keeping this footage secret from the people of Ontario? Thank you, Premier. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the, um, the member opposite makes my life and our lives sound very intriguing, but Mr. Speaker, what happened was um, we worked closely with the producer to establish the parameters of the film, um, which was, as I said, to be a behind-the-scenes look at the preparation of the budget, Mr. Speaker. Over the course of the filming, uh, there were some concerns. We had some concerns that the project was deviating from those original parameters, Mr. Speaker. We shared those concerns with the producer, and our sole that was our sole contact, Mr. Speaker, was the producer um, on the uh, the project. It wasn't uh, it wasn't TVO, Mr. Speaker. There was always a clear understanding that we would have no editorial control, and that was uh, that was understood. But um, that we would be allowed to review portions of the film with government lawyers for issues like breaches of cabinet confidentiality or privacy legislation, Mr. Speaker. Answer. That, that review was supposed to happen, Mr. Speaker. And as I said, um, we were ready to sign off on the final product. I hope that it can be seen, Mr. Speaker but I have not seen any of the Thank footage. You. Thank you.